Welcome shipmates to a uh, different kind of video. Uh, normally I'm showing you things I've picked up around town, whether it's at Salvation Army, Goodwill, uh, not necessarily yard sales yet, but uh, we've got a different pickup. We have a retail pickup. So uh, there's been a, a couple of Nintendo 3DS games that I've been looking to try and get lately. Uh, one of them, yeah, two of them are very easy to find, but I was trying to find them at my local used game shop, not GameStop, but uh, old school games here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And uh, the types of games that these are do not show up used very often. So uh, two of them are Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and um, Codename Steam. And I've been looking for this third one and it hasn't come up. And unfortunately, you're going to see a GameStop sticker on it because, again, this is a retail type purchase. So I picked up Story of Seasons and thank you, GameStop, because the only copy they had was the one on the shelf. So I get that horrible sticker on the side. Um, I have an upcoming vacation coming up. It's going to be about three weeks long. So I'm going to be taking the Kindle as well as the Nintendo 3DS as my two forms of entertainment. So I wanted to pick up a couple 3DS games that uh, had a campaign not necessarily short bursts of games like Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers. So Story of Seasons, it's kind of a farming simulator. This is an oddball game for me. These are games I never play. So uh, this is going to be one of the games I take with me. I doubt that I'll have Majora's Mask 3D finished by that point. Uh, it's a game that uh, I beat the Water Temple. I was close to beating the Water Temple and ran out of time, so I have to start the whole thing over. And if you guys have played... Majora's Mask, you know, that's a pain in the butt to have to restart. But uh, I picked that up, full retail price, $39.99. Again, I'm not a big fan of giving GameStop my money, but when they do have stuff in stock, it is nice and convenient to be able to pick that up. Uh, Target has not had that game yet that I've seen, uh, the couple of Targets that I've been to. But the other game I picked up was for my son and I, and he played it for a while last night. And uh, the sticker price is $74.99, but it's close to 50% off. It was $39.99, so I picked up... Uh, Disney Infinity 2.0. Uh, the price drop is there probably because 3.0 is coming. Uh, game Informer announced today that it's gonna it's the cover game for their new issue, which is gonna have Star Wars stuff. But I picked up Disney Infinity, and it comes with uh, comes with Thor. He's pretty cool. Comes with Iron Man. He's pretty cool. And it comes with the Black Widow. Uh, unfortunately, she does not look like Scarlett Johansson here, but who really does? Uh, I did pick up a couple other figurines because they were buy two get one free so i got a couple of the more expensive ones and a couple of cheap ones so uh for myself i picked up captain america because captain america is pretty awesome i picked up for my son spider-man because he absolutely loves spider-man and then the third full pro well, expensive one that i picked up was mickey mouse and of course my son is four so mickey mouse is the king of the world uh the three cheaper ones i picked up were Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, I want to say he was like three dollars, maybe maybe two eighty nine. I picked up Sully from Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. Uh, this looks like the Monsters Inc. version of him. And then I picked up Mr. Incredible. Uh, my son has seen all three of those movies. Um, his favorites of the three is Monsters Inc. I don't think he was quite old enough to get into The Incredibles, but he definitely liked it. Uh, but not memorable for him yet. And then Wreck-It Ralph. I thought Wreck-It Ralph was fantastic. Uh, he liked it. He's seen it a couple of times. Uh, again, it might be just a little too grown up for him. But those are my three pickups. So um, some exciting news. I do have a, a professionally designed logo for the website, for my Twitter feed, and for Instagram. Uh, it's already on Twitter. So if you want to follow me, it's at Swocast, S-W-O-C-A-S-T. You'll see the new logo there, but give a follow. And um, you'll see that at I haven't posted too many tweets on there because I'm keeping them specifically game-related. Uh, so you can follow me there. I'm also on Twitter, at Swarrior, hence the name of the, the website, Swarrior, S-W-O-R-R-I-O-R. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to visit the website, swarrior.com. Uh, again, very thrilled that I was able to get that. And you can follow some of the partner programs, thebgb.com, at thebgb.com, at Deep Voice, B-O-Y-C-E, at Big Red NY, and at Hazy Rome. Also, you can follow uh, It's Big Red NY on Instagram. You can follow Deep Voice on Instagram. And Hazy, I don't know what your Instagram is. Uh, I probably got it on there. But uh, be sure to follow those guys. Also, check out Game Chasers. Also, check out Craigslist Finds. Uh, these are all very entertaining people to see on the internet. Uh, Craigslist finds uh, not a whole lot of personality there quite yet, but you can see some of the uh, some of the super finds that they 
can get around the Tucson area, whether it's through their local thrift shops. Uh, they do a lot of yard sailing and then, of course, Craigslist stuff. So uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully the audio on this one's much better than the last one. I appreciate if you were able to power through, turn the volume as high as it could get and watch that video. So uh, until next time, hopefully I'll be able to find some more Salvation Army finds. It's been very dry lately. My last one was just Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance for two bucks. I uh, figured why not throw it on the shelf, but it's been pretty much all PS2 games and mostly just sports games. So it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've gotten a cartridge, but uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we will be able to find something new. Until next time, this is This Warrior. And stop.